Oh, hey, everybody. Hey, we're going to do a weekly recap. We're going to start doing this on uh, Monday. We're going to start this off on uh, this one here. Which today's Monday, so hopefully I can get this uh, footage taken, get back, edit it, get it uploaded, get all that good stuff done, and do it on Monday. So uh, that's going to be the plan. I want to start doing recaps. I've been asked several times to, uh, to recap the weeks. Uh, I'm not going to get as detailed as some people want. Some people want, like, expenses and revenue and all that. I will put the expenses in there. I'm not going to do the revenue because I'm not going to have people coming out of the woodwork saying I'm getting, that I'm bullshit, you know, bullshitting that I'm getting that much or that I'm getting too little or whatever it may be. So I'm not going to start that drama. I'm going to put the miles on each run, the total miles for the week, the piece count, uh and the weight of each trip so i'm gonna do that uh probably probably tweak it a little bit as as i go with this each week uh, as far as uh, comments go maybe it'll just stay the same but plan is just to kind of get some footage of the uh trips a little bit of footage of each trip kind of uh blend it all together and you know put it out as a recap video uh, so let's see how that works and we'll go from there if you guys don't like it tell me don't be doing that shit if you do like it tell me you like it and if you have a way to improve it tell me how to improve it uh, peace count and weight in the weekly recap that is trademarked by the crafty trucker so uh, I'm hoping crafty trucker is okay with this if you guys aren't sue me but yeah we're out here in uh, Vegas out here at Mount Charleston it's a park out here in the mountains it's beautiful out here, man. Absolutely beautiful. It's uh, supposed to only get up to like 77 degrees today. I don't. I know it's not anywhere near that at the moment. It's a little, just a bit chilly. It's probably going on noon local time here, Pacific time. And I'm up here uh, 6,000 plus feet. Got a lot of breeze, so at moments if the wind picks up and the audio quality sucks, you know, apologize. Uh, I guess you can send complaints to my complaint department we'll take care of that yeah guys man it's a uh, uh, this is just one view that just gets me every time is the mountains I, I, I love the mountains I mean they're just so freaking enormous it's just so I mean awe inspiring I mean it's awesome in that distance out there but yeah just just all out through there Through this GoPro, it does it no justice, I'm sure. But sitting here, checking it out firsthand, I mean, it's just, just awesome, just beautiful. I mean, I just keep saying awesome. That's the, that's just the only word that really best describes it for me. It's a little bit of a trek to get up here. It's about 25 miles, 30 miles outside of Vegas. It's, but yeah, man, I mean, you climb about almost 3,000 feet to get up here doesn't seem like you're climbing like that to get up here but man that, that, the poor baby she didn't want to get up them hills very fast man I hated putting all that strain on her to get up here man but it's worth it this is absolutely beautiful up here so uh, yeah I don't want to waste too much time talking about that but uh, as I said I'm gonna you know give you my trip uh, I started off in Cleveland Ohio and went to Belvedere Illinois delivered that uh, same day very next day picked up out of gurney illinois and took that to fort worth texas uh from fort worth uh i ended up picking up over at Carrollton, texas and that's what brought me out here to vegas and so that's where i sit at the moment waiting for a load as we speak no not done no gambling not a gambler uh this is definitely a place i've got to vacation though i've got to bring some people out here this is a place you, you definitely need to come out here with a few people. At least that's how I feel. I, I I drove down the strip last night, and I've got some footage of that. That's going to be on here. I'm going to put that on here along with some other footage that I took on the way out here to Vegas. I don't have any footage of the first two trips. I uh, was having camera difficulties, but I do have footage coming out here. Uh, but, man, it was just during the day, Vegas is a dive. I mean, it just is a dive. It looks so 
boring and just like a hellhole, but at night, when that shit gets lit up and, man, it's just droves of people walking around, you know, tourists, obviously, I mean, it's just, it was a Sunday night, and it was just sidewalks were walkways and everything, and catwalks were just, just packed with people, but yeah, man, it looks like an awesome time, I really want to get out there and do it, uh, like to bring my girl out here, I'm afraid to bring her, I want her to come, but she's a gambler, and she's the gambler that can't stop it just uh, winning a few bucks, she's got to hit that jackpot or she ain't won, so the money keeps getting spent, I'm the type, if I got 20 bucks, and I'm spending 20 bucks, that's all I'm spending, but yeah, it's beautiful out here, but not wasting any more time, I'm going to... For the slob. It's seven bucks an hour, minus taxes, no paid break. I said, You got to be kidding, man. That's less than a slave makes. Well, this is how it is. For the power of my blood, man, get the wound and keep the shoes on his feet to keep his feet off the street. The poor boy blue can't get no relief and keep the shoes on his feet to keep his feet off the street. Little girl I know She been working overtime Over at the Hungry Toad I asked her if she wouldn't mind Sharing me a bed She said you must be crazy kid You ain't bought me nothing yet Well That was true I must admit I saw three little birds They were sitting in a tree Out by the front porch Of a local fraternity I asked him Hey there brother You think you could spare a beer they spit it in my face and said, man, who do you even know here? Well, I didn't know it, so 